What's going on, you all? Today, we're teaching you how to read your live stream chat in VR. Now, I use the Quest 2 for this example. We can use any VR headset of your choice that obviously tethers our links to a PC. You can do Twitch, YouTube. You can also connect some stream labs, some stream element features. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, we're gonna be in Steam and you're gonna download the Live app within Steam. It's free and you want to be able to launch it. When you launch the Live app, you're gonna see right here a couple of things. Now, Live is very easy. You just integrate it with your Google or your Twitch account or YouTube. And so right here with Live, you just go to Streamer Kit. You're gonna put Launch Streamer Kit. I already had it on Auto Launch, so it kind of gives you this menu right here. So within this menu right here, now this you don't have to worry about anymore. You can kind of just minimize that. This right here is where it gets really interesting. There's a couple of choices we have here. There's Twitch, YouTube, Discord, Discord, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, and Pulsoid. Twitch, I already have it connected. You can see it says disconnect. So all you would have to do is just connect it, you verify, it, and it allows for you to go. I have my YouTube also. It just says I'm not live on YouTube right now because I'm just recording a video for you all. You can also connect your Discord. I didn't connect my Discord yet. You can do Streamlabs. I have Streamlabs connected because um, it allows for me to get alerts in VR while I'm connected and hanging out in VR. And then Stream Elements, you could also do that if you want to have just more integrations coming in and out, depending on what you do have. A lot of fun stuff that you can do in virtual reality with this which is pretty cool what you'll do is you're gonna see all these settings right here and we're gonna jump into the vr headset and we'll talk more about that right now but you can see that they offer everything they have the settings now doing it offline is basically not the smart thing to do because there's gonna be no effect right you gotta actually see it in vr to see what's going on especially with your chat box so your main focus right now is to ensure that you're either enabling twitch or youtube authorization so you gotta log in with your go ahead and jump into the vr headset now. All right, we are now in the VR headset. The same menu still applies. We're going to the chat. Now you can start playing around with it. You can start measuring it. You can put it larger, smaller, kind of rotate it around, put some opacity on it if you want to make it far more or less visible or you just want it to be able to be completely like clear and contextual so your audience can see. It just depends on what you want at the moment. You can see me doing everything with opacity and sizing it for right now in this moment you hear me hitting the plus you hear me hitting the minus and then now you want to look around you want to check out to go within the angles angles also really matter so that kind of just goes all the way far up and you can bring it all the way down if you want i don't want to go too much up because it hurts my neck but usually like a good angle right there i would like to prefer i guess in my opinion just depends on what your flavor is now you can go down to the preset options and you can check it out what you always have to do when you do these you have to hit the apply because if you're not hitting apply um, it just doesn't allow for it to really, uh, really configure and get it going. So you see me on the head left. Now you see me hitting the apply to a head right. Then you want to continuously scroll down. Just check out whatever your flavor is. You see me hit the, the left wall. I obviously you can't look left. So I look the left wall right here. You'll see me. Then I'm going to go to another one. You'll go to the right wall. Then I hit apply and you're going to see me look to the right now. <laughs> and now you can go down. You can see positioning, head follow. You can see the, the basic type, the fixed situation. You see me scrolling around just it being fixed. Um, these are where exactly where your chat's going to go. Um, this is the reason why I'm just doing multiple recordings. So you can see kind of sometimes it fluffs around a bit. Now you can see me right behind me in the back wall. Now that is pretty cool, but it's just kind of weird for me if I'm going to be doing that during a live stream. And of course, everyone's favorite when we click around to the I, I, this is going to be a, a different version of it right here when you're going to the hand features it shows offline when you're not live somehow it doesn't pop up sometimes so in this example it didn't pop up but usually it does when you go online and i believe it works far better with twitch i don't know if like live needs to update that or something but yeah it, it works with twitch for sure i never tried it really working well on youtube but i, I never really prefer the hand ones sometimes the wrist ones i know ovr offers uh, a wrist one but you got to pay 12 dollars for it so this is a free version so i I'd prefer free 99 all day over 11.99. No offense, OVR, unless y'all gonna hook your boy up. Of course, I'm cool with it. So the right hands and the hand fixtures kind of just don't show offline for now. Uh, online, it does work. Um, also, and then you can just kind of switch it around. You can switch the sizes also. You see me trying to like configure with the hands, but it's just somehow just does not pop up on that perspective. But I don't know, let's keep it moving. So now this is my favorite one, the feet. I think the feet one is really cool. It's similar to like looking at your wrist. It's it's the it's the poor man's version of looking at your wrist anyway. So to me, I like the feet version because when you look down at your wrist, it's kind of cool too. But you can just kind of look down and see at the peripherals of the feet. So that's pretty awesome in my opinion. Profiles are where you can select and customize for each different game. You just select the profile. You can set it wherever you want, depending on where the game is and where you want the hood. You can set up uh, how everything is appearing. Text. You can show like what alerts you want in order and how it pops up. 
you can see settings right here it goes back to your services and then like what i said in the chat all the sizes and everything and there's just so many colors you can do like how you want the hood to show up how you want everything there's a lot of things in there and you got to configure all that all that's more of your personal flavor this is just more of how to install it my favorite is right here the feet i love that bottom view it just looks dope in my opinion man so just uh getting through and te test them all out and see what your opinion works i know some will work great on games in the back wall especially like if you're playing well-rounded games like zombie games or something you can kind of look around the back and i know um, also the left walls and the right walls will work and sometimes just a fixture one like up top so you just kind of have to keep applying keep trying keep figuring out what angles there's so much dissecting and, and really really in-depth comparisons you can do with these chat essentials as you see me kind of playing around with these right now and i, I thought i thought this for free is a, something that hasn't been talked about enough so you definitely have to be trying this out but yeah my favorite is always the feet and just like that is how you can view your actual stream in virtual reality utilizing twitch or youtube and being connected to a pc now you can't do this on a quest 2 native because quest 2 is a standalone and if you do connect it to pc through oculus home you can't do it also it has to be through steam vr this is pretty cool it's free because other kids usually have to pay for them so i thought this was pretty incredible to utilize hope you enjoy the video and if you like more content like this subscribe as we have tons of tips insights tutorials gameplay and more i appreciate y'all peace